So let's start with a summary of uh, what we'll be covering in this webinar today. And uh, we'll start with a brief introduction to the inverse design method. Then we'll be looking at the mean line design of a Francis turbine stage. Then we'll see how different components like the stay vanes, guide vanes, and the runner can be designed using the inverse design approach. We'll also briefly look at the design of the volute and the draft tube. Then we'll see how the performance of this baseline runner can be enhanced through the use of automatic optimization with inverse design. And finally, we'll wrap up with some concluding remarks. So let's start with an introduction to the idea behind the inverse design approach, which we use throughout this presentation. And as you can see in this workflow, these, these are the inputs that are used by the inverse design method to give us the final blade design. So apart from some basic parameters, these blade loading inputs are really flow related. So once you have a good understanding of your specific flow issue, whether it's profile loss or secondary flow or cavitation that you're dealing with, it's possible to come up with guidelines on the optimum blade loading to tackle each of these issues. I, and actually this know-how has generality which makes it suitable for uh, all your turbine applications. And so what's interesting then is that you only need to rely, rely on your knowledge of flow physics and then this method will work for you regardless of your turbine size or which specific speed regime it falls under. And so this makes the entire process very intuitive and uh, removes any empiricism that is commonly seen in conventional design methods. So now let's look at the design of hydraulic turbines in a bit more detail. So across the specific speed range, hydraulic turbines are subject to various flow phenomena and loss mechanisms which are dominant in that particular range. So for example, profile losses usually take priority when it comes to Francis turbines uh, and which is the topic of this project. Also phenomena such as cavitation can affect hydraulic turbines over the entire specific speed range and uh, this is something that must be dealt with on a case basis. So the question then is whether it's possible to come up with a set of optimal design guidelines based on these fluid dynamic considerations of reducing the dominant flow losses for your Francis turbine. And then this is actually what we aim to explore through this project. 